Hello and welcome to this tutorial on dashboards and we've got a great tool Adobe Colors for color palette matching, extracting color palettes from images, um, color blindness checkers and so much more. It's a really in-depth tool you could use for Power BI, Tableau, Excel and so on. So before we dive into Adobe Color and showcase the comprehensive tool, we want to think about principles of accessibility when creating dashboards. Now it's not just visual impairments we need to think about, we also need to think about any motor or mobility impairment, auditory seizures, especially photosensitive epilepsy if we display moving imagery and things like that, learning cognitive, autism spectrum disorder, incidental issues, and any environmental factors. So we can jump back into Adobe Color at color.adobe.com and we're in the Explore tab. We will spend most of our time in Create, but it's important to note you can navigate through here and see some popular images um, and the associated color palettes, which is very helpful. You can copy these, get them in XML format, CSS format, and so on. If we look at trends, we can look at trends by industry or certain areas, and again, we can pull the associated color pal palettes from these. We've got game design, which can be an incredibly powerful way um, or theme you see within data visualization. But we're gonna spend some time in the create section because this is where a lot of the power is in my opinion. So as I said earlier, we can navigate to the create tab, which is where most of the power is here in my opinion. You can implement your own custom color palettes, enter hex codes. We can do it by hand and eye by actually moving the points. Shades is really powerful. Again, sometimes a really good way to present information is with contrast, and that could be great. And we've, we've got several other options we can use here. We've got a compound effect, and all of this, the monochromatic's nice as well. Um, we can move associated points and see the effect, and it all contributes towards a color palette. But a really interesting feature I've just inserted a file from my computer. I went on Dribbble and got a dashboard UI template and it will automatically pick up some of the key colors and you can replicate these themes. You can add some effects using color mood or you can actually move the points yourself if you want to tweak this slightly. So that's, that's incredibly powerful. And it's an incredibly quick way to go about things. Again, we can move through gradients. We can add gradient color points. We've got options for customization here. We can add gradient stops so we can move those up and that will be reflected within the, the hex or RGB values below. Um, and yeah, fantastic in terms of gradient as well. Um, to have this all in one place is good. Now, a huge benefit here is the accessibility tools. So we've got a contrast checker, which is really helpful. Um, so we can see within certain criteria with the web content accessibility guidelines where certain elements may fail within our, our color palette or visualization. So AA um, would be a slightly more lenient standard than AAA uh, where there's more criteria to pass. But we can see um, where our text would pass, certain iconography, we've got contrast suggestions and we can apply these. And then we'll be looking at more of a pass and we can take these color palettes and replicate them. As it's Adobe as well, you can save some of these settings and take them into any other Adobe products you may use. Now the colorblind safe is really interesting because you can implement a, a color palette, but um, for people who suffer from color vision deficiency, um, it may be very hard for them to, to read. And obviously your report can't gain buy-in if it's not accessible. So we can actually move these points around and in this potential color conflict, it's going to show us areas that we need to rectify or change based on the colors associated with the letters uh, below the, the color palette picker. Um, so yeah, within this one website, this tool, a uh, huge amount of functionality, uh, something I suggest you use with your dashboards. And as usual, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.